My name is Dr. Sam Paul. I'm the chairman of a company called Paulsons. We run various retail outlets. We also run a TV program called Provoke. Provoke TV is a YouTube-based channel. And uh, from Provoke, we want to inspire young entrepreneurs. So based on this concept, we want to interview new people, young people. Narepe nani chipang ella periy periy businessman apdi oru andamari oru interview pandru oru idea ella. Yaru na pati na youngsters oru work pannitru danga oru IT job lantru danga. Aungu the dream oru business lantru danga. So yivungla mari aalengla encourage pannu. Aungu oru secret na inna aungla madhe chini na mari oru business pannu. Apdi paakaron solte we are running a program. So come join me for this episode. I have someone very special who has come out of uh, a very humble background and from there he has built himself up to a very strong entrepreneur in this particular field which he is in. So come learn his secrets, all the small small nuances. So having said that, all of you please uh, welcome Mr. Atre Tiwari. Thank you. So Hi, uh, <laughs> he runs a hotel group called BFF, also is a big event manager, runs a lot of wedding planning. Very straightforward man, so that's something I really like about him. So Atreya. Yes Sam, thank you so your much. Show. So uh, <laughs> where did you study brother, where did you study around? Uh, I did my education in Chennai. Okay. And, uh, school it is it? School, yeah. School was uh, in Vepiri. Oh, okay. It's called uh, Agarwal Vidyalaya. I did it from my college, from the university. Which university? From that from Madras Chennai? University, straight. Right. So yeah, you started so working like when you were... Uh... Yeah, I started. I got into business long back. My okay. dad actually... Um, I opened a very small uh, hotel in 2003, 2004. Restaurant, is it? It's a restaurant. It's a very small restaurant. My dad invested in that restaurant. Oh, wow, okay. I was never uh, good in studies. I, I actually, um, I flunked in 11th. Oh, God. Somehow my yeah. dad spoke to principal and I flunked with, let's say, two marks. So oh, wow, somehow okay, they okay. told, okay. But again, plus year, two, uh, you finished your degree. And then yeah, you, did I your, my degree. Did your bachelor's degree? With, uh, bachelor's degree, I did BCA. And then I did my MBA from the from Madras University. Itself. Oh, you did your MBA there? Yes, I completed everything. Right. Because I, I, completed I always everything. think that education is very important in today's yes. world. Yeah, because it's not that easy right now. Yeah. Education is a, uh, it's a big necessity, I feel. Correct. I told you, as I told you, I opened a restaurant, small restaurant. Yeah, coming back to the restaurant. Where did you open this restaurant? It was in Egmo. We had a where small car there? park uh, near Ambassador Palava Hotel. I know the place. Where, where, what is it called? It was called Bombay Chart House <laughs> before. Oh, when, which year was it? I think it was around 2002, 2003. Oh, so, wow, okay. And how did it do? It was doing great, but uh, I was a very young fellow and I didn't have a business background, so. Mm. You know, the whole day, whatever I earn, end of the day, I take it off. And my dad used to pay the rent and everything. So he's like, this is not happening, son. <laughs> I cannot okay. take it like I that. Mean, in the sense, you used to earn. So you didn't understand how to run the business. Exactly. You're just trying to make money out of it. So you ran for, let's say, a year, maybe? Yeah, I ran it for a year. Ah. Then, uh, after that, I think so. I thought that business is not my game. Why got, would you think that? Because you didn't... I don't know. I was not having a proper guidance. Right. Uh, the guidance is very important. And, right. Uh, I was not good in finance. Which is also very important. Which See, but this is something uh, I want young entrepreneurs to learn, you know. Yeah. My dad used to always say, you know, you can hire an architect, doctor, engineer, you can never hire an accountant. accountant. So finance is something which is a necessity yeah. for people to learn. You should you should know what your cost per statement is. And I was very bad in that. Very oh bad in God, that. Uh, so it, I had to shut that place and uh, then I started working. I got into IT. Okay. And this was which year? This was around 2004 I got into IT. 2004, 2004. Yeah. Okay, so 2003 you started, one year later you opened your yeah, IT so. in the sense, of where, where was it? So I started with, uh, I, I worked in a lot of places. There's a company called Trimble. Then uh, then I got into HCL. Wow, so you, you were in the software development? Software side. But I was into sales, more okay, into sales. sales. Okay, okay, okay. So, but again, that job, you know, I did, I think so, I worked for around seven years. Seven years I was into IT. Seven years, so, so between 2004 and 2011. Then everything changed when uh, I, I met Rima, my wife. Okay. So she is like, she's from a business background. Right. So she told so me. How did you guys meet and all? Which is very interesting. Yeah, we met at the gym. Oh, I so. can't believe this, man. Ah. <laughs> we met at the gym. <laughs> all of you better go to gym, slam gym. She's amazing in business. She's very good in finance. Okay. So no, right I, I know she's uh, she's very correct about finance. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So right now I don't have the, that stress of finance. Right. Right. So yeah, she takes care of the finance. But yeah, that time uh, she told me she gave me an idea that why don't we start something in weddings? Weddings that time in Chennai, 
Nothing much. It was not that great. Correct. Uh, people were spending money. It was not organized sector. It was not organized sector. Some, yeah. Something called wedding planning, okay. where people did. People still are not aware of wedding planning. They right. think wedding means just uh, take a place, put the set. That's wedding. But there's a lot of intricate detailing which happens in wedding planning. Right, right. right. You know, from uh, from where to get the bride and the bridegroom, what they want, makeup, their hairstyle. I mean, their uh, where to buy their costumes, everything. So you give a complete package. Everything. To so and you, they, you get some reduction also. You, yeah. I mean, I'm sure the cost they're spending on you is going to be reduced in the. Yeah. So uh, what happened that time? We wanted to introduce wedding planning. So how that? We gave it for free. I mean, we just charged them for the set for everything. Right. But. It should be done in the right way. In a professional way. You can reduce the yeah. cost at, at the end of the same, optimize everything, correct? Uh -huh. Relatives come to enjoy your wedding. Right. Don't let them enjoy. So, so you arrange everything from A to Z. So we take care of everything. Planning. We did great in event management. Right. We did some amazing weddings. We did more than 200 weddings. That's in the last eight years. You're still yeah. doing it, isn't it? Yeah, we are doing. Now we are doing a lot of uh, niche weddings. Right. You know, we have not. Uh, we don't take all the weddings, that will be some, you know, we do... So you do only specialized weddings. Uh, how did you leave a job which is like paying you a lack of rupees possibly? Yeah. How do you leave that job and say, I'm going to get into business? But I feel that I always want, I, I cannot work under someone. That's That's been a problem with me. Yeah, but see, and a lot of people try that, but uh, is it advisable to leave your secure job and say, I want to do this, this is my passion? If business. you want uh, to be a businessman, you need to take risk. and. On a, in a young age, you better take risk because later you will not be, you will not get the time to take a risk. You know, I was 24, I think so, 24, yeah. When so, you were in, uh, when, when I was uh, in a job. 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 Okay. So you should be when 31 left, when you. Yeah, 30, 30, 31. So I thought this is the best time to take a risk. And I had an amazing partner who would help me. Your wife. Then. Yeah, my wife. Right. So, so do you uh, think it's very important, this is what is very important, I want my people to also know. Yeah. Do you think you have to, uh, should they be in a job when they try in business or should they leave it and try it full time? No, they should actually concentrate on one thing, they can't do it. Correct. If you are in a job, you can't do business because you need to concentrate on what you are doing and mm. what is your passion. If you are passionate about business, you should get into that. So I remember that you were doing weddings with Rima and uh, then what made you get into the restaurant or the... the so we, we also used to do a lot of coffee, events yeah. apart from weddings. Yeah, I, I, I remember you did, uh, you used to have this, uh, you were doing I, it with uh, somebody yeah. else. Yeah, so we, I, I, we did this fashion premiere week. I did Anirudh live in concert right. in Dubai. So we, we, we did a lot of huge uh, events also. But is there money in doing such events? You no. can lose a lot of money also. No, you don't have. You, you right, because nobody's sponsoring money right now. No, 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 there's there's no money in concerts mm. basically. So that's like. Uh, now, it's a very sad thing in India where artists are not promoted like in the US or possibly Europe, yeah. right? Yeah. If these artists were to perform in US or UK, I'm sure they would have more comp people paying and getting the tickets. They all want to get it free. And also. we have amazing artists actually. Yeah. So you did your weddings, then you did a lot of events to go side by yeah, side. Let's go side by and side. And when did you want to get into the restaurant? Yeah, so. After that, I got an opportunity in Bangalore. One of my mm. friends, he told me there's a nice resto bar right. for sale. Why don't you look into that? And it was in Brigade Road. So. Oh, that's the main road, near MGO, yeah, right? The left, correct, yeah. correct. Right, right. So, this is, you're talking about Double Decker right now. Correct. When did this happen? This happened two years back, I think right. so. Yeah. So, okay, but you're looking at, you're doing a business and uh, let's say even if you make a decent profit and uh, suddenly you're getting in, trying to get into a restaurant, uh, but that's a lot of risk involved. Yeah. What made you do it? Uh, was it Rima or? Uh, no, 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 that was not Rima. Uh. That was my own passion. Okay. Which, uh, because I always wanted to get into a restaurant business, but okay. I never knew I will get into a resto bar business. What so, is the kind of investment you had to make there? So here, yes, whatever we earned uh, actually from events, branding and mm. uh, weddings. So it was all your money, you never all, take a, took a partner? No, there. I had a partner. I have a partner in Double Decker. Right, so he okay. invested half. And right. uh, I was the person, me and Rima, we invested half the money. Right, okay. But again... Uh, but why Bangalore? Why, why not Chennai? Why yeah, that was something uh, everybody are, is asking mm. me. But it was nice, something dif different. Mm -hmm. um, Chennai, I could have done it in Chennai, but that time I got the opportunity there, so I invested. Right. And uh, it clicked. It really clicked very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really learned the business very, very well in Bangalore. You, you opened one 
BFF already. True. That is the second part is already open since yeah. the license. The first part you're just waiting for the license. This I'm place, waiting for the license. Yeah, place, I'm waiting right. for the license. So how much how much square feet is this? This is I think the total around eight thousand five hundred square feet. Mm. So I'm more interested about the funding part. So you had taken a little bit of money and a little bit of saving, right? Correct. So you took a partner. So a fifty percent partner. Fifty percent. So actually, I choose partners. I don't randomly uh, get into a partnership. Mm, mm, mm. Because I have to know that guy at least for a year or two. Right. The partner, partner of mine, I know him for say three, four years now. Right. A good and guy then. A good guy, and uh, mm. I really uh, felt that. I and I asked him, "Do you want to get into a partnership?" He never said a no. He just told, "I am," and he sent the money. So he's from uh, Bangalore, is it? He's from Chennai. So your funding was more uh, a partnership based, where you yeah. raised the fund Correct. and a little bit of your own saving. Correct. Right. So, how was Double Decker doing? Double Decker did very well. Right. We earned uh, good money. There. Right. Again, from that, we wanted to start here. Then uh, we right. started this place. So, Chennai, you wanted to be, be yeah, your market we, Chennai. I just wanted to uh, see market how, territory in Chennai. How Chennai, Come on. Ah. How Chennai will do. But uh, right, right now, I'm just waiting for this place to open. Right. License. Which I wish you all the best. I'm sure you can. You are on the way to getting it. Okay. Yeah, we will be opening very soon. Mm. So, but coming back to this, no. So, first part is there. The second part, you let's say this BFF was set up. This is the BFF 1.0 was set up, and uh, where did you get the funding for this? Again, 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 3.54 crores. Again, about. again, uh, that was my money which we invested, and right. again, I have a partner here. Right. So, so again, 50-50 is it? Again, 50-50. So right. I am into a partnership here also. Right. So you are so, able to handle the multiple partners, which is uh, yeah. Only, only I am able to handle that. Okay. You know, there can be a lot of uh, negative things about partners also. You know, mm. there are a lot of there are a lot of other people. Who will um, actually talk bad about you to your right. partner? Right. And you know that's the whole oh, point. Well, welcome to Chennai, brother. Yeah. Chennai. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's so special about Atreya's uh, resto bars or restaurants? Why should people come to you? Place is amazing. Hmm. The people, uh, the people are very. I, I keep my employees very happy. That's we're very important, right? That's something. Well, I, what do you do to keep them happy? I mean, whatever they want. I, I make sure that it's given. Main is the end of the day, people work for salaries, good right. money. So good so salaries. Yeah. Good salaries. So do you comply? Do you try to comply with all the labor norms in terms of leave and? Everything? Oh yeah, yeah, we mm. do that. Which is we very do. important also, right? Today's and work. the the main part is having a good management team. Right. I have a good management team. Right. You know, from the bar manager to the restaurant manager to the bar, everything. Everything has to be perfect. So you have asked me so many questions. Now right, I right. want to ask you something. Right, Atreya. So how did you? What made you start a Tony and Guy? See, I mean, to be very honest, I can give you a lot of stories here. But the truth is, there's a lot of God's grace. In this. God will say, "Okay, now bloody take it." How did you That giving tendency is there with God, no? So you just, you know, you put your best in work and you trust God. Tony and Guy actually was uh, was an accident actually because look at me man I don't get my hair cut I'm a brute uh, I'm more a slam guy than a, than a Tony guy guy right I've never done a pedicure in my life uh, I've not done uh, I've not done waxing I've not done all this uh, you know how it is right uh, guys I mean I'm not a metrosexual guy as you call it I'm a, I'm more like your brute you know so uh, one of my friends I think one day she called Lena she called me uh, now there's something called Tony guy. You should start it in Chennai, and I'm like, what is Tony? What is guy? <laughs> and she said, this is the biggest brand in hair. And uh, but the thing is, there are Tony guys that were started in other sectors which we're not doing well, which has eventually come to us also, like Karnataka. They're planning to give it to us. It also depends on where you position yourself. See, the idea is, if you are cost effective and if your quality is good, you can easily uh, up, uh, upscale the entire thing, or you can expand as you wish. So what we studied was for this hairdressing industry, uh, we might require around a crore salons in India alone, a crore. Wow! Just to basically support. So you think every salon will make money? Ah, oh, see the thing is again, see, it's like any other business. Most of the salons will make money if you have quality in you, if you are doing proper training. See, what is the ambience, cleanliness, hygiene? You know how the sector works, and people coming in, are they treating you well? Uh, are they are they are they behaving themselves and stuff like that? So these are the sectors which you are looking at. So if you maintain everything properly, hundred percent you're making. And one more thing, your food industry. You right. love food. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, how do you how do you what's your take on the food industry? 
it's a very tough industry to be very honest very tough industry yeah. especially in chennai because chennai is very conservative in nature also they don't I, eat all i that. think so these things people should know that hotel industry is very tough the restaurant oh, industry is very it's tough. a terrible industry you can because there are players who are there for the last uh, uh 15 20 years or possibly even like uh, some people have worked with like punasami and all they have been there in the field from 60s so wow. they know their food their staff because they know how much salary to pay the staff are with them all as you said good stuff made to matter a lot right and i would like to ask you hmm. you feel a swiggy an uber all these things are good for the market or they are not uh, good see this market. is something that see because i stood for the member of the parliament and in one of the matters i've mentioned that these aggregators are doing more harm than good actually indirectly which is what i feel because with the discounting policies right now what these people are doing is also they are they are bringing in a lot of uh, uh, what they doing is they consolidating all the data because all the data is with them all right True. ajona's customer bf of customer all the customers are with them so they know what is selling yeah they are eventually going to establish their own cloud kitchen which they are already starting doing right which what we call is an unfair trade practice so but in india they have not even they are yet to recognize all this it will take them another 10 years to understand oh this is a crime in recent times bigger outlets with huger uh, uh, investment cost and facility cost uh, are more tougher to run than smaller kiosks correct so we have done a small sultan which is a central true. kitchen which seems to be doing very well compared to the original fine dining experiences because people are now saying okay today jonas i okay go there eat for 100 bucks if i can get it at 70 bucks at my house they don't want the experience also <laughs> i mean i'm sure you feel the same way yeah, also yeah, i mean yeah, discounting game is the game that survives right now that's that's true so that's that's how these guys also work 30% mm. discount 25% that's a lot of discounts so this is the first episode which we did with thinking big and uh, atraya has one friend who's come out of uh, uh, i won't say humble background i come from a from a working atmosphere to a business very successful businessman so thank you very much atreya for coming and so speaking much, to us thank i mean it's so going to be good inspiration for us yes so uh, you can say something to the viewers if you want to if you want to achieve something you got to take risk that is something really important you can't just sit back and think that things will happen it won't happen so take risk uh, at a younger age and um, then i think so success will follow you Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Gaya. Roman Andrea. Thank you.